Jenna, where are you taking us today? I'm taking to, you to Fudnas, to Parque Terra Nostra. It's, um, it's a pool with hot springs and it's, ui, it's incredible. <laughs> Especially if the weather's a little bit cloudy and rainy yeah, and it's especially. cooler. And Frank, it's cool. Frank is with us and Gida. <laughs> and Gida just asked me like in the hostel, do you want to go to Terra Nostra right now? And it was super spontaneous, but now we're all in the car together. So thank you so much guys for taking us along. Frank, was für speist du da gerade? Maiskolben. Mm. Mm. Lecker, lecker. <lacht> in der Erde. <lacht> Und wie in der Erde? Da kann man doch gar nicht kochen. Erdwärme. <lacht> Erdwärme. <lacht> These corn sticks have been cooked in the volcanic um, geysers, right? Right. And they're delicious. Thank you guys for showing me. <lacht> So now we arrived in Terra Nostra, this beautiful park. There are a lot of really, really tropical plants here and flowers and fish and ducks, I think, over there. Wow, I wish you could smell this. I'm surrounded by so many flowers and the smell here is incredible. This whole place has like a honey smell in the air. Oh, and the colors here, wow. This is absolutely incredible. There's so many flowers here and you can smell on each of them and they all smell different. Like I've never seen so many different flowers in one park or one place. It's wonderful. Und wie ist es Frank? <lacht> oh, das sieht so geil aus. Ich will auch rein. <lacht> so, now we're gonna go into the hot spring bath here. It contains a lot of iron, which makes this water so brown. It's not dirty, it's just iron. And apparently it's very healthy for you to do that, so I'm really excited. Oh, this water has the perfect temperature and it smells really good. Oh, this one is really hot. <laughs> Where you can see this lush green coast going down into the wild Atlantic and over there on the other side it's going on in the same pattern always these crazy cliffs and some beaches in between wow I'm feeling so grateful that 
I, I was able to meet so generous souls on this island who are, you know, sharing so much and showing us around and just taking us to trips just because they enjoy company and yeah, feeling really, really blessed to be here and to have all these, these p great people with great energy around me. Now Liliana invited us to her house to drink some freshly made sweet wine, right? Sweet wine. Wow. Thank you so much. Cheers, grapes. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers to Sam Miguel and your hospitality. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> wow. It's very nice. Yeah, it's like grape juice. Yeah but different, a mm. little bit different. But in a few days it will be alcoholic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, also cool. The, the powder. So now we're trying a wine from one year ago. This one smells like it has some alcohol. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it tastes way stronger than normal wine. How much percent do you think it has? Okay, points. Um, um, one uh, one liter. It's like a liquid, a liter so it will have like 20, 20 something. It yeah. depends. Some can it can be stronger. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You can see it. You can see it. Mm. Mm. In the middle of such a good Wow. The smell is different. Very strong. So now we're on the way home and it's almost dark and Gida even decided to show me this fishing harbor here, the biggest of the island. It's called Rabodi Peish, which is kind of a sketchy town, a little bit poor and dangerous apparently. But they have a huge fishing culture here, but always very rough weather. And they uh, have to go out there to fish. Wow. So, so kind of Gida, I cannot believe it. Preparing cat milk to feed the baby baby cat. Which baby a new cat? member, a new member <laughs> of the family, at least for a while. Oh my god, Frank, are you happy now? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, you're like so happy. <laughs> so yesterday night you found this baby cat on the street. Yeah, it's five in the morning. Really? I was sleeping. Mm. I was not hanging around. I was sleeping and then I wake up. Listening to meow, meow. And there was this baby cat on the street, alone. Did you give the name yet? I call him Five. Five? <laughs> yeah. Last name. Nice <laughs> story behind the name. Come, baby. It's milk! Oh, it's so cute. Not for you to drink to. Little update from the quarantine hostel. 
As you guys know, this hostel is very small. It has only this one dorm room with six beds. And right now there are some Corona rules which say that you can only use half of the beds. So it's only three beds. So at one point it was all booked out, but I really, really wanted to stay here. And then Margarita kindly offered me that I can sleep in the garden because she knows I love to camp. And I was really happy about that. And now I'm gonna show you how I'm sleeping right now. Home sweet home. It's so lovely to sleep here in the garden and we put a real mattress into this tent and I have a real blanket and a real pillow which is like glamping and I can feel the fresh air, I can hear the rain and also hear the waves of the ocean from here. It's so lovely and I'm so grateful that I found this amazing place with this amazing soul running this place. Margarita really must be one of the most generous and nice persons I've ever met in my whole life. And she's running this place with so much love. And she's like, you know, if you have questions, she's helping you out, like where to go. Or she's baking cake for everybody and she puts it on the table for everybody to eat. That's crazy, isn't it? And grapes from the garden here and some other little fruits. I have never seen any other place where people would do that, you know. They would charge for that, but she doesn't. It's just just wonderful to see that humanity can be working in that way. And I think also because she spreads so much love towards her guests, she receives so much love also from the guests again. And many people who stay here a little bit longer turn out to be friends of her after a while. And that's just what humanity is about, I think. Mm. Sunflower seeds out of your own garden. Correct? Yes. <laughs> oh, looks good. Now you're gonna roast them? Yes. Mm. Uh, look at that. Freshly baked banana oh, cake. Mm. And over here, so many fruits and other goodies. Nice, Kolben. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much for your precious time and enjoying this adventure with me. If you can't wait to see how this journey will continue, you can get instant early access to the next episode on my Patreon page. This project is only possible through your support on Patreon. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>